Hi, I am not going to apologize for the clickbaity uh, title and I will skip to the commercial break just so I can talk immediately. Card Market is Europe's largest platform for all TCGs. Always find the right cards by buying and selling them across Europe with other players and collectors. Be it singles, boosters, booster boxes, or any other accessories, you name it. Card Market is the place to get them safely, securely, and readily available. Hi, and welcome back. So, uh... I played at the extravaganza this weekend and it was amazing actually thank you for the guys who organized the event so the event was well uh, but the organizers can be good but the people were better so the players were great um, the matches were cool uh, the rounds the rounds were great uh, in view of the uh, time and uh, although there were some quirks regarding the live stream and the misplays that have occurred there uh, I am proud to say that I'm glad that Andrea placed in top 8 and he will be our representative at the PPG event. Uh, the other thing is uh, my placement was in the top 16, uh, more precisely I was 16th and that actually saved my face. Uh, I'm, I'm here to actually show you the decklist. Uh, the decklist was with the updates I actually said uh, in the last video, if you want to check the uh, first video about the decklist. Uh, please uh, check it on our website after that sub subscribe like everything because we are so endearing I would like to say about uh, this video is basically about my experience and why I think that this deck uh, kind of bombed but then again did not bomb uh, as you can see uh, the things that remained the same with the Zeno unison the leader was here uh, just because he can provide the triple strike to the unison and uh, we have the Trunks counter plays at 3, the Horror Prospects at 2, the 6 one drop blockers that Vegito needs. Uh, the Genome Chain is here intact. Uh, one of the things I changed was that instead of the Genemba 2 drop, I put Nappa. Uh, since we uh, put the combo attack Genemba out of the deck, uh, you don't need a Phantom Demon uh, or an Evil Incarnate card to be present as a 2 drop. And then again, you have a villain, you have a Nappa, he has his hair here, uh, why don't you play him? Uh, although, if, uh, if a person actually would like to uh, think about something, yeah, uh, a Nappa 4 drop that can evolve from the energy can also be present in the deck, which was one of the considerations, but deck space is tight. I changed the Nimbus Master and chilled uh, to 3 chilled and 2 Nimbus Masters, I am fairly... Uh, actually really good about that uh, I don't feel very bad about that decision uh, two beans uh, they were they were okay uh, I put the fifth unison I put the Majin Buu and uh, I think that it's a great uh, great fifth unison because uh, when you don't play units on turn two and if you see the Buu you can play him on turn 3 and uh, with the combination of playing Chilled for a skillless card uh, you discard the 3-drop Janemba and then you play it with the Boo. So one of the cool interactions is you charge your 3rd energy. 3rd energy. You try to play the Chilled, they can't replay the Chilled, but you still discard the Janemba. And they will use their uh, one counterplay per turn if they have the Unison. Then you play the Boo, then you play the Genemba from the drop, they can't counterplay that, and then you proceed on attacking with the Genemba chain. Uh, there's one Secret Entity Mass Chain and one Bardic Fully Unleashed here as a very loose uh, overall package that can be uh, really... that can be side, sided out uh, depending on your matchup, so you can either interchange them in the side deck between the two, or you can add one of the other cards. Uh, I would like to go through my matchups and then say why the deck sucks and why the deck is great. So, first round I played against Silk. I lost that match because green is a tough matchup, especially a green aggro deck that has a lot of deflect and uh, the bad boys have deflect. Uh, one of the things I uh, encountered during the first round, uh, the deck bricked during the whole match against Silk, uh, and that's one of the one of the bad things about this deck that uh, you have to have the whole chain constantly. 
uh, and uh, sometimes you can grow into it, but if you don't see one of the earlier pieces, which is the Bewitching Blow, which is a skillless card, uh, and the 4-star Dragon Ball, you literally cannot progress. And the thing that happened against Silk was that uh, even when I could put a skillless card on board, I could not get into the Bewitching Blow because I did not draw into them. Uh, no matter how cards, how many cards I drew or anything like that. And even when I had the Bewitching Blow, I did not have the 5-star Ball. Uh, one of the things that I uh, did not actually use was uh, Unexpected Turn because although his Turtles has Deflect and when he enters play he will not be actually affected by the card, uh, the Unexpected Turn will uh, provide you uh, with, with a board wipe to every other card that he has. So when he uses one or two blockers, uh, the ugly ass ones, uh, you will actually see an okay progression during your turn if you survive his attacking turn. Uh, and uh, he will not have that many blockers except the dormants and I don't know what else. The blockers are actually the, the main issue. Uh, he kept attacking my unison and I could not even establish the board. Uh, it's not a thankful matchup so I lost because of, because of that. Uh, the other thing is second, uh, second round of play against the announcer. That is literally uh, an easy matchup for you. So anything black that is not Toa is great. Uh, everything yellow is okay because you go through the nemesis. Uh, everything blue is really okay if they don't play the hatch. Uh, and everything red is also on the table. Uh, second round of play I played against the announcer. I dismantled the deck because uh, it cannot flood floodgate you enough. It can play the protector of the people, but they have to play literally a protector of the people and a bean to stop you from attacking anymore. But then again. When he negates one of your attacks with the protector, you will proceed to attack with the leader, then the units, and then whatever other battle card you have in play. Uh, the third match was against uh, our own uh, Sven. Uh, he beat me with his Toa. So Toa is one of the, if not the, uh, baddest matchup for this deck. Because uh, the wall that that deck actually puts against you is really, really uh, bad. You have to clean the entire board uh, first and then proceed to attack the leader. So everything you actually do cannot be removed by skills. You have to beat it in physical combat with on a certain order. So you have to first go through the boo, then go th through the slug, then go through the other slug, then go through the uh, leader uh, and then other board control things uh, when you when you have to just uh, battle everything. Uh, the thing is that even if you remove the slug a six drop doing with a skill, he can play the four drop. He can put it in a bad position. If you don't have a unison, he will wipe your board. So it's a really bad matchup. Uh, but fourth round to play again against Toa, and I dismantled it two two zero because I learned something, and that is something that I will try to actually use against future Toa matchups. You have to play really slow and you have to give yourself time and not go into the Janemba chain if you don't have to. So the thing is that you actually play against Toa with your skillless package. Uh, precisely, you play with the Nappas, you played with the Janemba and then after you actually board control the whole thing, after you deny them of the resources, you can actually proceed into your Janemba chain. So after signing out uh, a fourth or a third copy of the Sig Drop Janemba, after signing out uh, the Bardox, yeah, you don't need the overall removal because everything that is removed by skill, you literally just lose then and there. Uh, you have to have a lot of physical attackers that they cannot interact with that are too big. So you have to have the third beam that's in the side, uh, you have to have uh, your, the only overrun card that actually is kinda okay is Fu, the A drop, because he can attack multiple times on the slugs, on everything that he actually has. Uh, even then, maybe a D magic is okay if he tries to uh, attack you with a triple strike slug. And uh, yeah, Toa is really bad. Uh, I'm literally considering not playing the deck if in, ev if in any future events there is a Toa, you you have to play with a cool head and you have to give yourself time. So even if you win 1-0, it's, it's a great thing. Uh, a lot of the things that that deck does literally shuts off your own deck. So it's not a really great, grateful uh, matchup. Uh, so yeah, that's one of my uh, things that I'm really considering about.
the deck really is great nobody actually expects anybody to play it um, when you're playing against green the trunks counterplay has to go to four in the main because uh, he is a defensive card more than an offensive since you are defending yourself against any potential Frieza charismatic villain because none of the Junembas have deflect or barrier so that's a really really bad bad thing uh, the other thing I noticed was uh, on the fifth round of played against Soul Striker so the Soul Striker had negates negates and negates uh, and in the two matches I went through uh, the hatch, secret rare, and I managed to survive that because Soul Tracker can negate some of your attacks but can, cannot negate all of them. Heroic Prospect does not do nothing about against this deck, um, uh, just against the 6 drop Janemba. And uh, since Soul Tracker uh, naturally goes to his 5th turn, he doesn't actually aggro you down. Uh, with the Zeno Unison you will have your 6th energy during your 5th turn, so the Heroic Prospect really does nothing. Uh, the thing is that you can uh, slice through the deck just by, you know, attacking and doing your own thing. The deck cannot hurt you in any kind of way. Uh, you attack sometimes, you board wipe with the Zeno, I, I did it in the both matches, and then I proceeded to rebuild my chain again and a win from there. Uh, I would like to recommend this deck but then again uh, give a strong word of precaution because uh, Toa is... a lot of players play Toa because it's a, it's a finished deck. Whoever bought it in two copies has a... so literally the deck out of the box is, is a real nuisance to your to your game state and to your uh, natural progression. I even changed the trunks, uh, changed the super combo to the trunks, and I think they are the best option because you have the, your unison really early enough. Uh, you're constantly on a high life total, and you can win just by having the trunks. And even if your opponent actually removes your unison, uh, he's still a plus 10, plus 10, 10k combo, so uh, he's one of the best options uh, to have against that. So, yeah. Uh, green is bad, uh, every other deck is good, uh, except Toa, so be wary of the Toas and uh, try it. If you have any suggestions, uh, literally put them in, in the comments or uh, tell me, uh, DM me uh, personally. I literally don't care, uh, I would like to hear your opinions on this. Uh, I've seen that the deck has had the deck the first deck profile had some uh, traction, so I'm actually proud of that uh, for you to see uh, the concept. And I would like to thank you for your uh, cooperation and for your patience. Also, maybe I'll play it on an event from the card market. Maybe I won't. Uh, right now, I'm considering uh, Saint Shenron because uh, I really like my control decks. And I'm considering Invoker with the Unending Awakening, so, uh, but Violent Rays is 4 euros, so I would like it to, to just, I don't know, for 5 euros for this, for this much, if it were 35 euros I would probably buy it, uh, and play the Invoker deck, this is what my attempt to playing uh, an aggro uh, build, and uh, some of the things worked, some didn't, and yeah, uh, thank you for your responses. Uh, thank you for your uh, attention and uh, bye people and uh, I love you. Bye.